Do we even need an introduction? Like, you know what's going on. We in Banff. Parking garage. I am the best cameraman. <laughs> So the time in Banff is actually temporary for today. It's uh, just a stopover for snacks because we're gonna be out shooting all night. So that's okay. The snacks, the snacks have been acquired. Snacks. <laughs> snack. Snack. Whole meal. <laughs> Let us continue on with our journey now. Too. That's from that sign. Hi, babe. Hello. Lake Louise. The beautiful Lake Louise. And uh, this is where things get fun for me. Protection number one. Acquired. Now, if you've ever put a wetsuit on, this is very similar. Unpleasant, uncomfortable, but highly necessary for cold water swimming. And so if you're wondering why the quality has changed, this is my camera, obviously. And uh, it doesn't really work with the microphone and being waterproof, so. We switched the phone recording. Thankfully there's no wind. Hopefully uh, this will be curable. All right, now that we've, uh, we've ever put on a wetsuit, between last clip and this bit, it's like been like 15 minutes, and uh, cold fingers doesn't help, but now we gotta go have fun. Get after it. Mm. If you fall, I'll catch it, so content, question mark? Be careful when you crouch down not to like... <laughs> not to sit in the water. Okay, well, I was gonna bring you out there with me, but um... You know, I wanted waders and just settled for boots today, but uh... I think my foot is actually frozen inside this boot. <laughs> Um, I can take some of Lake Louise home with me. <laughs> oh. Ready for this? Poor <laughs> oh. Beeb. Back to the car. <laughs> Alright, back of the car with my foot being defrosted. I'm. Oh. My hand was in that, sorry, I gotta hold up the camera. I apologize. I am trying to get a good explanation video of over underwater shooting, and last time I just didn't do a very good job. Ah, thanks. <laughs> and this time my, you got what? I, my, my boot, my f foot fell in the water. So, on to the next spot, <laughs> question mark. But yeah, we are, there is one more final shooting location for today, so. Back on the road. So driving into the valley, there was just complete cloud inversion. So now it's not so bright, which what? good thing, bad thing, I don't know, but made it to the final destination. Um, first time doing this. All right, this is my first time in here. I don't know if you've been here or at the Natural Bridge, Yoho National Park. This is wild. It's terrifying because there's a big hole right there with running water underneath it. But I mean, as you can sort of well sort of see, the ice is plenty thick inside the cave, but this. This lands landscape, I don't know, this uh, 
s speechless. I I I'll give you a tour. All right, well, that was one of the coolest things ever. Um, whew, look at this. So I actually have an idea for a night photo. It's another reason why we're out here. Just going to head to Emerald Lake. Whew, sorry, steep up there. Um, heading to Emerald Lake while there's still some this light that's the word and hopefully gonna get in the water again because my pants are already wet so <laughs> woo! why not <laughs> although i was betrayed once already i'm going back in back at it again oh yep that's creepy boy quit oh god it's still so wet half dry socks are a thing right <laughs> and we're night shooting after this so <laughs> Great. Oh, hey. Okay. Over under shooting Tortool. I'm by no means an ex expert. Uh, this is my method methodology is because it's not light out and because it's not summertime the sunlight obviously it's darker below the surface so i use automatic exposure bracketing to take three images i might go over this in lightroom maybe i'll add a little thingy if i can figure out how to do that but anyways i take three images and mash them together to get a proper exposure of over and under and i'll explain more about this thing back in the car but yes i finally got smart put this on in the car And uh, we're going we're gonna to try and make something here before the light fades. There's you and I. Okay, so... We're in the shot. <laughs> the Focus the, on my left eye. The slow tilts downwards. So Alright, well that's the end of today. I hope... This video provides some more insight into over underwater shooting other than my Grassy Lakes video. And if you haven't seen my Grassy Lakes video, corner. Um, yeah, get boots, but get boots that allow you to wade a little bit deeper. Again, I want to go with waders. I was just testing this out to see if the vantage points would actually benefit the images more, which... Twas tested. <laughs> tested to the max today. But I think Lake Louise getting to ice level. I don't know if I've posted an image. Image. Then a white. Getting to ice level there, I definitely needed them, so looks like waders maybe in my future. So I can look like a just a king fisherman. Yeah. Anyways. Because you're a great catch. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank again. you. I, I appreciate it greatly. Uh, I haven't said this in a while, but LCS, like, comment, subscribe. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Yeah, LCS, I gotta go through the checklist, otherwise I get confused. You know this. I support this. I gotta tick all my boxes. <laughs> Peace. Bye!